what I did is uh, I cut the flounder down the middle. Then I got up here as much meat as possible in the head. And then I tried to come back on the back side of his stomach. Then you should have something like this right here. See, so notice I got the back side of his stomach. And I got a cut down here. And his head is off. Now what I'm going to do is actually cut this on the inside, on both sides. That way I can pull it up. Then I can take the, uh, the bones out of the middle. And then it'll just be nothing but flounder. Then I can stuff it with shrimp and crab meat and all that good stuff and have a stuffed flounder, okay? So we'll get back to you. We're gonna use this. We're gonna see, can we go along the rib, along the spine here, but we're gonna go down and out like that, okay? So let's see, can we get that done? I haven't done this in a long time, fish on viewers. It's been a very long time since I went flounder fishing. But, uh, you know, I still got it. You know, we caught a few, and the wife caught a few, and Thor caught a few. I really, I think I might have caught one. But, you know, I really get enjoyment out of seeing other people fish on my boat. Although I do like to catch fish, don't get me wrong. But, uh, you know, I like for other people to catch fish and see the, you know, the excitement on their face and whatnot. Okay, as you can see, that's one side of that. And you can see the bones right here. And that's what I'm going to be cutting out later. So now we're going to do this side. Uh, to take the bone out, all you need is a you know little knife. And all I'm doing is going right in under the bones here and taking those bones away from the meat, going all the way out to the edge, but not through the edge, okay? So we're gonna take the bones out. And as you can see, I have some uh, scissors over there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut along here to take that, that uh, those bones out, just like so. I'm going to take as much of those bones out as possible. It's like cutting material. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I cut the, uh, the bones out, as you can see. Okay, now all I have is a filet with nothing but meat. Okay, so now I can actually, speaking of that, I got a little bit right here I need to take out, I can feel it. But uh, now you can pack this with your shrimp, your crab meat and all that stuff. You flip that over like that and you bake it. Got your, um, you know, all your seasonings in there, your butter, whatever you want in there, of course your lemon, and let that sit. And next thing you know, man, you got your stuffed flounder, which is quite delicious, okay? That way. So now, if you don't want to do all this work, you need to go to Flavor Hills down in Jacksonville, North Carolina. The stuffed flounder is awesome. I'm telling you, it is nothing to mess around with, as well as the rest of their food. I had the uh, uh, chicken and waffles. Oh, insane, insane. But back to flounder. You don't want to go through all this work, and if you're in the local area, Check out Flavor Hills down in Jacksonville, North Carolina, and ask them for that stuffed flounder. Matter of fact, tell them Fish on Forte sent you, all right? All right, we're gonna fillet another flounder.